have a look at uh, dynamic routing so let me just uh, clear it out yeah so this is the default uh, way we left it in the last video let me just grab this code copy and paste it here now one alteration I would do is for example user forward slash and then I would say ID and then I would uh, return something of this sort user concatenate with the value of the ID and sure I should accept this ID argument okay let's just uh, save it and uh, check it out user forward slash any ID 34 user forward slash 34 gives me user 34 user forward slash 56 will give me user 56 and you know this is you know basically a dynamic way of loading from the routes now why do we need this we need this because when in the case where we have to dynamically allocate routes which we would be doing in the upcoming uh, videos this is the most powerful way to load now one more example of this kind maybe let us say let me just copy this and paste it here uh, let's just say comment and then I'll say anything maybe mm, username now let's say dollar username concatenate with the text left a comment and sure this function should be able to accept this username as an argument so it returns this let me just save it and if I go to comment forward slash some username it should say that username left a comment let us see let me go to comment forward slash rakshith oops rakshith okay look it says rakshit left a comment now let me just change it even more a u d i already left a comment right and uh, here already left a comment so this is how we can dynamically route the first step is to load the URI and then associate it with a variable and provide that variable into function as an argument and that function can actually attach and return alongside with whatever you can do or there is one more way of passing the argument to the view now let me just show it to you what if I did something like this return view and I'll choose uh, let's keep welcome as our default uh, view let us use the same view and additionally let us pass the username argument as well to pass the username argument I'll use an associative array so associative array I'll just say username and then its value is however you know its value is dollar user name and in the welcomes welcome blade control p to search whatever file you are looking for welcome dot blade so i found that file i'll just add a h3 tag h3 tag and uh, don't worry too much about this this is blade laravel's templating engine called blade which i'll be dis you know i'll be talking more about so right now i'll just say username and let's see what it does username see audi 
here we have uh, the name of the user that came along with the comment now we just uh, change the name let's say uh, here we have the name here so this is how we can pass arguments to views so the basic step is that you have got to go to the routes file in the routes file you you pass it as an array so this value tends to be accepted by the welcome.blade.php file and here this two bracket essentially means it's a replacement for this php echo username end it there and end the uh, php so if I just try to reload it same you know instead of using php echo we are using this uh, two open brackets here without a semicolon which essentially means the same as as if we used the open bracket PHP now let me just reload it and check it out Rakshat here so you know it is pretty simple to pass views and also dynamically load the routes so the first step is you have got to create the location the URI and then allow it to pass it as an argument to the function and return it or alternatively you can do the same and then use an associative array using the key value pairs this is the key username is the key and the value pair is the uh, value that you would be passing username or there is one more way to pass this let me just clear it and show it for you I'll use the with method with method will allow me to pass whatever I want now look at this with I'll say username and then the value the value is username yeah let's see what it does so if I just reload it again again this name is reloaded so it's very simple to pass data to the views using uh, you know an array or with method so for example you want to pass another variable let's say ID and now we want to pass it to the view so what I'll do I, I'll just uh, attach it with another with method and I'll call it ID along with that I'll pass the uh, variables value ID now it has to be accepted so welcome I'll, I'll just go to uh, the welcome page and I'll say username and then I'll just say ID of course it should be a dollar ID and then I'll add a colon in between so it becomes a differentiator so here because we are not passing any ID it says route not found so let's just pass an ID oops it says undefined variable ID let's see what is the issue here oh yeah we have to pass it as an argument to the function so this is what was missing here this ID argument was not passed here to the method so therefore it was not returning any value now it should hopefully work let's see yeah so Rakshat with a colon and the ID now le let's just change it to 25 and name it to whatever name you want let's say R I H H A N A Rihanna oh <laughs> R I H A N A <laughs> okay Rihanna whoever you know whatever name you can give or whatever so this is the basic idea of passing views to routes so you set up the view and then you chain it with with argument or you could as well pass it as an array like I'd shown you previously if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and share